The once lush green pastures of grass have now been cut for hay and haylage. The swallows have raised their young and are not many months away from their journey back to Africa. I have to adapt to whatever situation I am called upon to deal with rogue rabbits. I needed some more cage traps so I travelled to see Colin, a wise old man of Cambridgeshire of whom I purchased my traps from. My name is Colin, I'm uh, working, uh, my business is under Colin's traps. Um, I've just uh, started to put a rabbit trap together. Uh, all these I've been making for the last 40 years and been very successful. These traps are simple, easy to use, very efficient and I've caught in one year over 3,000 rabbits out of 100 traps. I'm so pleased that all my experience in gamekeeper has gone into these traps. If anybody bought a new trap off me, I'll try to educate them straight away because I want to sell more traps and if they catch rabbits, I know they'll talk. So I educate them straight away. I usually tell them to put free bait for a start. If there's loads and loads of rabbits, there's perhaps no need to, but it is a good idea to get them hooked on carrots because once they get hooked on them, it's like somebody smoking a cigarette. They seem to be wanting to eat the carrots all the time. If I can give anybody a little talk on how to catch rabbits with these traps, it's all beneficial for me. I know they'll catch if they do exactly what I say. But another thing is don't use too many carrots because if you do, they always seem to be tastier outside. But if you put them in the traps properly, they're very successful. Well, I'd cut them about, about three inches long and slice them. Slices of about a oh, quarter of an inch thick. Staking them down because Mr Fox might think he's got something in his, in his supermarket basket and away he goes over the field with it. Now I take the rabbits out of my traps, I just hold the door, the traps on the floor actually. You pick him up like this here hold the door still. Now the rabbit sometimes will run up to the door. Wait while he settles down, which is, is don't take long. Some of them are hard day so you can get them out straight away. But the best thing to do is go down with your traps, which is not too far, you can reach them easy enough, which is only 29 inches. It's less than that when you put your arm with the rabbit in. Get hold of the rabbit by the kidneys. If you get hold of the rabbit by the kidneys, it won't kick you. If you get hold of it by its back leg, it'll scratch you and kick you and you'll get in all sorts of problems. So get him by the kidneys and pull him out nice and steady. If there's two in there, make sure you've got your hand on the door ready so the other one don't bolt out. So then you dispose of the rabbit and away you go. With these rabbit traps, I always say this, they must be checked every day accordance with the law and taken out and disposed of. It's very unfair if you leave a rabbit in there and you can be in very serious tr trouble. I've always maintained getting there early in the morning, getting my rabbits out, off the field before any footpath walkers are about or whatever, and it seemed to work very well with the public. They all know that the rabbits shouldn't be in there after so many hours, which is the proper thing, is so they don't get too stressed out. The farmers are pleased with what I do because we get no shout back from the public. Everything seems to be working well together. These are the business. Wise words from a wise man, but like the farmers I work for, I want my harvest to be as quick and as fruitful as theirs. But life is hectic, and working among such a tourist hotspot means I have to up my game. I almost have to be chameleon-like in controlling my rabbits. I'm a great fan of rabbit fences, especially when used in conjunction with some rabbit drop boxes. I use the leader rabbit drop box from Scotland, a modern version of the old Warrener's tip trap. 
Hundreds of years may have passed, but as it is often the case, the simpler the method, the more efficient it becomes over time. I gingerly checked the box, as I have in the past been too hasty. This time it was a rabbit, but wherever a rabbit can go, other creatures will follow. It was a stoat. Fortunately for the stoat, I was under instructions only to remove rabbits from this site, so it was set free to hunt another rabbit for another day. It must have been well fed though, because the next rabbit was still alive. Just imagine though, being the rabbit. You sit there, all dark, in your holding chamber, the trap door goes, and guess who drops in? It's not your friend, no, in pops a stoat. During the shooting season, I catch a lot of partridges. Another reason not to open the door too quickly and be too hasty. You imagine sticking your head in and one of them comes out hurtling up there. It's going to hurt nearly as much as a bite from a squirrel. <laughs>